just wanted to touch on uh, what I was talking about before with the menu systems in here. So if I use a little jog knob on the side, I press on that, nothing happens. So I come over here and then we've got the menu button over here. So I'll press that and now we get into the menus. So now that I get the menus and you notice I haven't had any audio meters or anything like that. So now I go back to this button that's over here again. Okay, I go to record set. Okay, that's uh, fine because I'm in HVAC. Oops, so this is not where I want to be, but that's for something else anyways. I had to set the chip last time around. Okay, come on over to, let's see, I've got my volume, body record levels, mic select. Auto does not seem to do what I would expect it to do, because auto, you would think that it would just automatically jump to the internal microphone when you don't have anything plugged into it. You'd think wrong. So I'm going to go to internal mic. Okay. Return. And okay. And I see the meters going. So that was that was an interesting one for me because I've never run into anything quite like that before. The menu system's a little bizarre. So I'm going to go ahead and shoot a couple of seconds. Well, a little bit in time here. All right. So now I stop. And now you have to press the button on the side of the camera. It's the thumbnail button. Because normally I would have just been with the Sony just touching the screen to get to it. So I touch the thumbnail button. Now you can touch the screen. So it's a little, it's a mixture of really weird things. You can see there's my, there's my footage. If I cover the lens, you can see that that's, that's the recorded footage. So it's, it's a, a mixture of strange things that you're doing here that you normally wouldn't be doing on the other cameras. The other cameras, it's either all touchscreen, or it's a jog knob, or it's a set of buttons on the front. But this camera's kind of all over the place. It's a, this is kind of a confusing little devil. I'm sure once you get going with it, it won't be a huge big deal. But until that point, yeah. So I'm going to go back to my menu system. Back to my knob on the side again, because I couldn't hear that audio. So now, where do I have to go for that? Oops, I jumped out of it. Back to that again, menu, menu. Oh, I need to shut the thumbnail off is what I need to do. Okay, so thumbnail's off. Now back to my menu system. All right, now I'm going back up to what? I think it's sound again. Volume. Just crank that bad boy all the way up. Return. Okay. Back to my thumbnail again. Click on the screen, click on the screen. So I'm gonna go ahead and shoot a couple of seconds. Still a pretty low volume, but I imagine if you're wearing headphones, you're probably okay. And with a camera like this, you'll be wearing headphones anyways. So you, you just you get the idea about what I was talking about with the menu system. It's a little confusing, but after a little bit of working with it, um, it'll be. And also, if, if you watched the last video, this little package that we have here, this allows you to put a little accessory shoe up here to match the little accessory shoe. See, little accessory shoe here. To match the accessory shoe that you have there. Why you'd want that many accessory shoes, I don't really know. So I'm not really sure if I'll install those. You've got a, uh, a screw socket there, presumably for like a light kit or something like that. So some of the lights have the little threaded pieces that you can you can hook the camera light up on there. Generally, I'd probably do use an adapter to go from the threaded thing to a slide in, and then have the light up front. But to each his own. Looks like a pretty cool little setup though. We'll see how it goes. And one other thing that I wanted to mention, right Ted, is if you're gonna spend a crap ton of money on a good camera, get a good case. So this is the SKT. Spin around so you can see that. 
is the SKB case. It's already form fitted. It doesn't have those ridiculous little squares that you got to pull out and fight with all the time. So the camera fits in there, power supply fits in there, your manual fits in here, your SD cards fit in here. You can also get some SD cards in there and you know, everything. Everything's got a spot in there. It's a real nice heavy duty. Super aircraft stable case. And that's, that's what you need. Because when you're gonna spend some money on camera gear, you don't wanna end up taking and losing it because you got it in some kind of crappy bag that gets crushed when the dog jumps on it. Not mentioning any names.